What's going on guys, it's Rock Combo, and today I'm bringing you all a ranked match. I'm the Red 49ers, my opponent is the White 49ers. He is definitely a good player, up there in the top 300, uh, top 300, I forget exactly where. Uh, and so and so he's hitting, hitting, hitting me with a couple of drag routes, a, a corner route, and a streak route and whatnot. And I did a really good job of stopping him. Anytime you can stop your opponent, whenever, you, especially when you know he's a pretty good player, uh, on his first drive, that is a huge momentum changer, especially then I got Crabtree to... Um, to break a tackle and get in the touch, to, to get get in the end zone, as you see right here. Now he's running with Kaepernick on some. He had some really some good you know read options he ran, and he had a really he has a really nice offense as y'all will be able to see as this as this game goes on. Picked up my blitz nicely right there, and then he just did a a fade and <laughs> and pass it to the outside and put some nice touch on him by Kaepernick. Kaepernick is definitely a really really awesome quarterback now. He can he can I think he's one of the, I think he's the best deep ball thrower now in the game. Because with his arm arm strength and his height, and he's definitely uh, he's definitely top notch. Right there, that should have been a sack. He got kind of lucky to get that away. As you see, it looks like he's in the jet heavy. <coughs> I have a guy in position right there, but when it, this year, you know how you can just pass lead, and your defenders just don't don't react at all. And I didn't get a good reaction right here. Tacking on 15 yards for a personal foul, and and you notice I'm I'm up eight to seven right right now. That two point conversion is definitely in the back of his head. It has to be because he just went for went from one so if I can get him to go for two and if he doesn't really have a set two point play that gives me a big advantage even if he picks up one or two um, you know I'm gonna be able to get a couple stops because two point plays are not easy unless you have a good one and so and so right there I, I didn't go for two because I, I just want to put some pressure on him and make him think about going for two and I want to see what he has if he has a really good two point play or not <clears throat> and if, if you recall that, that was uh, the two point play I went for was the iPhone play um, so some people have been asking about it, so I'll probably put up a tip to go along with those other two iForm I form plays uh, that I put up a few weeks ago. It's a really great compliment. It's, it's an awesome two-point play because uh, while it, it, it can get repetitive on the pass play, the, the passing part of it with all those fades and stuff, um, it, has, it has a really good uh, run play to go with it. So if you audible down to the run and, everyone, and they're trying to play a bunch of coverage defense to stop all those fade routes that you do, uh, you'll be able to get in the, in the uh, end zone even easier on the two-point play. So let's get back to the game play. I'm up 15 to seven. Look, everything is looking good. Uh, fourth and 18, big down right here. Got, I got to pick it up. Hit him with the, <laughs> with the uh, double move right there. Uh, Crabtree got open, and that was a big, big first down. And once again, I, I'm starting to use lock a little bit. A lot of people have told me, telling me to, to use lock. So whenever I use the 49ers. Um, and I think I have him as my fourth receiver now. And he's definitely a good good player. You know, I think he's in the low 60s, I believe. I'm pretty sure low 60s. But he catches, he look, right there, catches everything so far. I haven't had any issues with him. I really haven't played too much with the 49ers. Probably played two, two games with the Niners uh, lately. And look at this pick by old McDonald, man. I didn't want to go to McDonald, man. I didn't want a number one combo. Oh, my goodness, with the coat. <laughs> but uh, I threw it right to the spy. Unfortunate, and right here, perfect position, no animation, just just terrible. I don't know, was that, y'all can let me know, was that just me on the sixth bad, but I put the guy in a purple zone, he had inside position on his on his fade route, I click on to get the pick, I'm on inside position, and nothing, and he, you know, he goes for six, just like that, and of course he celebrates to go in the end zone like he's hot stuff, oh my goodness, so that's frustrating, but once again, he didn't, he didn't fall for my little bait, <laughs> and he didn't go for two. And talk about bait, he just baited me right there. Uh, good job on his part. Kind of just just a battery. I, I knew he was doing that, but I threw it anyways. But he, he did a good job of, of, uh, of baiting me on that throw. So I'll definitely give, my, give him props for that. So now he's hitting me up with the, with the drag route. I'm sending some, some really heavy pressure on him. He's not able to pick it up. I'm sending six. He's blocking six. And I'm still getting one, sometimes even two guys in. And fourth and 19, look at that. <laughs> did I get the stop? Look how close that is. Yup, it says I got the stop. Another crucial, huge stop right before um, halftime. So right now, I'm just I run the ball right here because I want to get the clock running a little bit because I want to score with not a lot of time uh, for him to have a drive so I can go up by two possessions. And I'm scoring a little fast, way too fast actually. 40 seconds is a lifetime and one timeout. But get the touchdown, go for two, make it a two possession game, up by nine. And so now he has pressure on him, not only because um, 
he's down by two possessions, but I'm I'm, hit, I'm making all these uh, two point conversions. So I mean, he really has to think about going for two from now on out because he hasn't been able to stop me yet. And and so instead of just having um, a seven point lead, I have a nine point lead. You can just see how these two point conversions can really uh, go in your favor, and it can kind of take your opponent out of their game if, if you can even if you don't you might not think it's taking them out of their game, but it, it's definitely in their mind. And they're like, this would just be a seven-point game, but now it's a two-possession game. So they start pressing a little bit more, blitzing a little bit more, just hit them with the FL screen, do all that good stuff, and and uh, good things can come. Can come. So I would, I would, my whole thing with this commentary is to advise y'all. Y'all should try out, try out, go in practice mode, find a two-point play that y'all like, um, and and go for it. Maybe use one, the one that I uh, I put up. What problem used in his uh, <laughs> in his the Madden challenge? If you saw what he did on that. Uh, it's definitely more effective if you run PlayStation with those fade routes on the left side. Uh, but but definitely go in and try to find find a good two point play. You know anything with with uh, fade routes, whip routes, drag routes uh, are, are really good things. And then along with under center, so they they have to they have to respect the run, and then they also have to respect the quarterback uh, the quarterback hike and haul. And so that that's kind of my little uh, advice of what I would say. Of where to get started with. Look at this fourth and three, just good, good, uh, good, good stop by on by him. I had a open, but I was kind of already committed to running. And I was in full sprint, and sometimes they they can't just throw the ball out there like that, like you want. But luckily, unlike unlike last time, whenever he threw that, I see I, I'm showing you I have I put the guy in the purple once again. Instead of getting inside position and not picking it off, and him getting a touchdown, I was able to get the stop and pick it off. After I'm up by two points, so I just got to get out of my red zone, get some first downs, waste some clock, get a touchdown, and we'll be looking good. Uh, but but back to the two point play. Look at Frank Gore getting loose. <laughs> oh man, look at that. That's nice. Uh, but to the two point play. So just look for look for something with a uh, with a, a stock fade route in it. Um, uh, you know you can and then you can put some some whip routes by tight. If you have like a two tight end set, would be really good too. Um, and then some whip routes, some fade routes by the tight ends, he'd be in the pass lead early on, and then uh, have a running back back there, and, and so then you can also uh, get around with your quarterback. And you see right there, I got a nice interception. So that's kind of what I would say to start with a two-point play. Um, and the reason why I like under center is because you can hike and haul, and you can also have the threat of running the ball. Uh, and then... Uh, I like to have the fade routes because fade routes in the red zone are just are just really tough to stop, and it, it, it's a lot for your opponent to stop. So just try it out and then take it into a game, and uh, let me know. Come back and let me know about uh, about your results and if and if if you feel like it's helped your game or whatnot, or if it's hurt your game because you're not <laughs> doing a good job of converting them. So let's get back to the gameplay. That's my little rant on the two point plays. I really do think it is truly effective. Um, I'm really definitely starting to use it more. Uh, you know, some people think it's cheesy, but I, I don't think it's actually cheesy. I mean, look at Oregon. Oregon does it. Uh, they line up in two-point play um, every time, and if they don't get the formation, if they hit the formation they like, they go for it. If they don't, they kick the extra point. So, I, you know, I don't think it's necessarily cheesy. It's, a, it's just another tactic, you know, to go along with everything else that Madden has to offer. So, I'm up two points. Need to get a touchdown to make it a two-possession game. Third and two. A big down right here. I have Michael James in there. And he goes down short of the end zone a little bit. I'm gonna do a little quarterback sneak. I went right on my analog stick, and he did not. He did not do the sidestep, and he was able to stop me. So he's at the one yard line, and if he can just get in field goal range, he will win this game. So I, I definitely need to stop right here. Hits tries to hit me with a fade route. I have, I have a yellow zone right there that I was able to break up that pass on a fourth and four. Tries to hit the fade once again. I have double coverage. I have. I have a purple out there, and, and the guy manned up. Was able to get the interception, but the game is not over yet. Um, <laughs> we had the two-minute warning, and look at that, man! I'm a gosh. I don't I cannot. I don't want to dive in the end zone, but I also don't want him to hit me because uh, <laughs> you know I don't want to fumble at the one-yard line either. But I, I, I take my my. Uh, the, I get the touchdown, and I take my extra point to make it a two-possession game. No need, no reason to risk it to try to make it just a 10-point game. Because as long as you can make a two-possession game, that's all you want to do with a minute left. And once again, I'm able to get the pick. He tries to throw a pass lead streak. was able to get a nice interception. And that will about wrap it up as I'm going to take it to the crib. And uh, this was definitely a quality opponent. 
uh, you know, I just made a couple better adjustments than he did and, and protect the ball better better than him as the game went on. And once again, just, just testing out that uh, two-point play. So, see you all in six. I hope you all enjoyed this.